In today's video, I'm speedrunning The Visitor and The Visitor Returns. It's a horror game that's based on an alien invasion flash game that you can find on Newgrounds. Now that you know the game that we're playing, it's time to begin the speedrun. This speedrun is actually going to go by pretty quickly, so after you break the branch, you're going to want to spam click onto the frog. Once it consumes you, you get your first transformation. It's going to be a pretty consistent theme here. And of course, there is a lot of clicking that you have to do. Thankfully, I have my cursor up on the screen for you guys to be able to follow along. You can't get into the house, by the way, because that cat is blocking your way. So you have to come up with a bunch of distractions in order to get the cat to move away from the door. As you can see, you still can't get through the door because unfortunately you have no arms or no means of getting into there. So of course you're going to have to do some more distracting of the cat. The cat is obviously trying to get you through that hole that you went through. But once you get back on top, you can get through a little hole that you guys see right there and just get right on into the house. I know some of you guys might actually be confused as to why I'm not doing full screen on this section of the game. And the reasoning for that is just because it's a lag issue, not much I can really do. You guys can see the Newgrounds website. You can also see me setting this woman up to die! Oh my gosh! And we pretty much just get out of here pretty easily. And now we're back to full screen! So we're gonna break into this room over here. We're gonna go inside a fishy in the tank right there and get our next transformation here. Of course we need to distract that birdie in order to get another transformation in order to get the guy on the top bunk who is stupid enough to sleep with his mouth open! Of course the guy on the bottom bunk hears what, what is happening. We kill him. There's only one person left which unfortunately I had to get out of full screen once again in order to kill him. And that's pretty much the speed run. It's as quick as that. Luckily, I'm able to go back to full screen here and we can watch the credits. So, now that we are done with The Visitor, it's time for The Visitor Returns, the sequel to The Visitor game and also another alien invasion flash game you can find on Newgrounds. Anyways, let's begin another speed run here. So, once you get on over here, you notice that a raccoon is trying to break into that trash can. So, what you want to do is turn off the lamp. Turn on the lawnmower, scare it away, open up that toolbox and get the hammer out and basically do that to the wooden pole so that way you can tip over the trash can and we wait for the raccoon to come back. Once the raccoon returns, of course, we're just going to hide into the trash, get into its body and transform once again, another alien transformation and we move on to the next area. So here we are, we've just arrived in the next area. You see that a skunk is eating some disgusting food left behind. So what you want to do in order to get it away is to pick up that can and of course the other flammables reach into that pocket to pull out a lighter and boom! Some new food for that skunk to eat has finally arrived. Of course we gotta wait for this guy because you know he takes seconds of our precious speed run here. So once that is accomplished we want to go ahead and get the food that the skunk was eating and throw it at that spider web in order to lure the spider down here and get our next transformation. After that it's pretty simple. We're going to go over to the skunk and we are going to use our latest upgrade here to put him in a web. Of course eat him because why not? It's kind of what this whole game has always been about is just eating things and getting new transformations here. So now the only place we can go is the trailer of course. You guys can see that there's a little crack on the window in the background. So we're going to pull on up to the window here. And we're just going to rip a real stinker through the crack in the window. Of course the guy's gagging so he has to open up the window in order to let us in. We're going to eat that scorpion that you guys could see in the tank. Open up the fridge and get the dog kicked out as all the wieners come flying out. Of course we're going to come out over here. And I know he's going to try it and be a menace to us. So of course we got to take care of him. And we get our next upgrade, which is our ability to eat things. Once you get back inside, you want to rattle the dishes so he spills his whiskey. And then you want to go to the top cabinet up there to randomly pull out some bug spray. Then we're also going to be spilling his cigarettes with his lighter and setting him on fire. But for whatever reason, I guess he's just distracted because we can then crawl under the table and take a quick bite out of him. After this happens though, I'm so confused how the wife that is in the back over there notices us. Of course she's going to shoot through the door here because she knows that we're out here killing people. So what you want to do is open up the cooler, toss the beer right by the window and of course we can crawl on through. So now that we're in the room, all it really takes is the first two options that you guys see in the task bar here. We farted on her, we gagged her and that was pretty much how we ended up killing her. 
And that's also the end of the speedrun. So she died from suffocation. As you guys can see, there are multiple deaths and also endings in The Visitor Returns. However, I'm not going to be going through all of them just because of the fact that I wanted to go for the quickest death possible. But anyways, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys all next time.